Hi, let's walk through how to create a more effective model using training and testing data. Let's improve the model from the previous example. First, we need to update how we created our model. Instead of fitting the linear regression model with all of the values of x and all of the values of y, we will only use 80% for building the model and the other 20% will be used for testing the model. Let's split the data into training and testing sets by doing the following. This means that 20% of the data will be stored in the test variables, x test and y test. The other 80% will be stored in x train and y train. We also need to instead reshape the x train data instead of x since we're no longer using it. We also need to update our linear model to be fit using x train and y train instead of x and y. Additionally, we need to update the r square value to score using x train and y train down here. Let's see how well our model performs with only 80% of our data. I'm going to get rid of this old predict value, but this time we're going to get predicted values for the 20% of test data that we put on the side. So in order to create predictions, we again have to reshape the test data into a 2D array. So we do the following. Next, we use the predict method on the model to predict the values of all of the x test values. This will return an array of predicted results for every data point in x test. Now let's compare all of the actual results to the predicted results. For each value in the test data, we will print out the following. We will print out the x test value, the actual y value, and the predicted value for y. To see what's being stored in these outputs, we can write a print statement like the following. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and comment some of the code below so that we can see what is outputted by this print statement. And this is what we see in our output. Lastly, we need to update the visualization of our data. Let's plot the training data in purple, the test data in blue, and later we will plot the predicted data in red. This line of code is currently plotting every X and Y value in purple. Again, we didn't use the entire data set, we used the training data for our model. So let's update X to X train and Y to Y train. Instead of X predict and predictions being plotted in blue, let's instead plot X test and Y test. To make this more clear, let's also add labels to both of these. When I run the code, I get the following graph. As you can see, 80% of the data points are in purple and 20% of them are in blue. Lastly, we're gonna add the predicted values to this visualization. And the updated graph looks like this. Great, and that's how you build a more effective model. Now it's your turn to try this example.